Hello once again, and this is J. Ashley Spencer. Hello, J. Ashley Spencer here. J. Ashley Spencer. This is J. Ashley Spencer. J. Ashley Spencer, and. Okay, so hello, and this is J. Ashley Spencer here once again with RD Brewery. Today, the mission is to drink. Not drink all the beer and not drink all the beer out of the beer bowl, but we're going to be drinking a sip of beer out every beer bowl. Just chucking the rest away because it's just been in my room for ages. You know, I always go on about it if you watch my first channel, uh, Jed and Ashley Spencer. So, yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to hold our beer basically. So, yeah. Um, I'll get all the loose bottles first, and then we'll start working through the other bottles, um, the boxes, uh, screw it now, we'll get rid of the boxes. Wow, we've got, we've got loads, we've got absolutely loads. So I'm just going to take one seal of each, just tell you how it tastes. We love, mm, tastes nice, uh, tastes grim. So, got a trusty little thing. We got this for the uh, nettle beer, and uh, we got a glass. So, yeah, let's, let's crack the first one open and see if it fizzes as well. Big fizz, big fizz. <laughs> Mahoosy fizz. Right. I don't know how we're going to pour this out like this. Um, we just have to do it like that. Right, it smells nice. It smells nice, yet I'm pouring it away. It smells, it smells well nice. I think with the nettle beer, you just have to leave it for about a year and then it starts to actually taste nice. Two beers on this town. Right, let's have a little taste. Yeah, <laughs> it just tastes nice. Although, I'm not going to drink it all, just taking one sip. Right, this is the brown ale. Um, I think it's an IPA, the Newcastle Brown Ale. Slight little fizz. Can't really smell anything. Should really have two glasses. Oh no! Oh! Surprise attack! This is the thing. This is, um. This is Nettle, Nettle Cider as well. Um, not that much going on. Just tastes like cider. Cool that. Right, if if most of them taste nice by the end of this, I reckon of a mad fizz. I reckon we'll just have to wait a year for the nettle beer. That's that's how we well nettle cider. That's how you do nettle cider. The little um see the the smell the aroma of this just smells well nice. I can't I can't be lying about that. Basically also with this I wanna be making more beer so mate lovely Waterfall. Water. Big one, big one. Thought that was gonna fizz everywhere, but it turns out it didn't. Wow. 
Honestly, the sound of that is just like tss. Sounds like acid. Smell, oh God, this doesn't. This doesn't smell too good. <coughs> smells like crap. Doesn't really taste like it. Oh, that's honey. That's a lot of honey in there. That was a pleasant um, surprise. Oh, God. We've lost a beer bottle. Well, beer cap. If that goes in that, uh, it's going to fizz and die. I don't know how drunk we're going to get. On at least do about 20. But that sends, uh, and saying that 20 of these taking one sip, that'll probably be about once again, fairly nice. Yeah, so about 20, this sounds like it's going to explode once I open it. Nope, maybe not. We'll, we'll probably be doing it about, five bottles worth. I reckon. Smell, smells nice. Tastes nice. All right, this is a nail beer as well, or a nail cider. The cap is popping out. just hear a roar of this. It's just like Alright, oh, let's taste it. Some of these you guys to taste them and you taste the like gas. You're just like oh Honestly, I think what I said at the start, you have to wait a year for this to actually mature and actually taste nice. Because otherwise, <laughs> if you drink it straight away, this stuff does not taste good at all. So I think when I, when I eventually move out, I'm just going to have a shed with all my beers in. Just keep beer in there. Oh, it's just a thing. All right. Um, I don't know if there's beer behind there. There might be. Okay, I'll get the boxes out of the way first. That's our bank man. All right, sweet. Let's keep going. This one's a bit sticky. Oh, once again. What's the another one? I'm going to get a net to put over this. I reckon this one's going to taste nice. Yep, tastes 
sadly, I didn't actually put which ones I've made, so I don't know if this is like, I don't know if this is the um, thingy and thingy one, um, the lemon and honey one, or the lemon and orange, or whatever I made it. It's just a random assortment. So next time, I will probably leave them, off, leave them to mature for about a year and then see what we get. Mate, these just taste like quality. They, they taste nice. Some could be a little bit more fiery. But then, yeah, they taste nice with all this, so. This, this bastard is going to be a fire one. So the next beer that I'm going to be making, the beer cider, will be the like, berries and cherries or one, like dark fruits. Tastes nice. Tastes beautiful. I might actually make another metal beer one, but I think I'm gonna leave them in the keg for about six months and then transit for it over to the balls. So the sediment settles at the bottom, then we just chuck them in the balls. drinking some of the sediment in these. Looks nasty. I got myself a cup of tea next to me, but I feel like I'm gonna be too far to even drink it. It's a Sports Direct one as well, so I'm gonna die. This, oh god, I don't, I don't know if I can hack this, it's the dark stuff. I might, I might just try and go through the metal here first. I'm pretty sure, yeah. This looks like it's gonna be all the dark stuff. I'm just gonna empty it out, why not? This is gonna be like quite a long video for this, this channel. Dark god, it is all the dark ones. It, with my channel, it sort of cycles around, it goes from fish tanks to beer to cars, and it just keeps going around like that. So now we're on, now we're on beer, we're gonna start making more beers. Uh, let me let me pick out some more and yeah. 